Welcome biology students. This is Ms. Tesla and I'm making a quick video. Um, we've noticed that the worksheet is not working properly for the second part of this assignment, which is 8.8 .8 sickle cell anemia. So I thought I'd explain how you do the pedigree analysis and then how you can save, um, you can do a screenshot and save the actual pedigree chart in a Google drawing and then draw on it there and then submit that as part of this assignment. Okay, so first part is the pedigree analysis um, is the Punnett squares, which we've already done. We have to remind you that we have genotypes, which is how we find them in the Punnett square. And then the phenotype is how that characteristic is expressed. So if we look at the pedigree chart, we have a little legend here that shows you when it's um, totally open, it's unaffected, which would be the dominant homozygous, so the capital S's or uppercase S's, with when you have a carrier female or male, that's heterozygous, you have one allele that's dominant and one that's recessive, so upper and lower case, and then finally the last one is homozygous recessive for the affected, that's when people actually have the sickle cell anemia disease, and it's two lowercase s's. Okay. So having, so knowing that, we're going to fill in this first Punnett square, which is heterozygous matched with heterozygous. So in this quadrant, we have two dominant alleles, uh, heterozygous, heterozygous, and then in the bottom fourth quadrant, we have homozygous recessive. Okay, so we're going to use this particular Punnett square um, for this very first part of the chart. We have two heterozygous, um, we have two carriers, I should say, uh, male and female, and we're gonna look at this first female here. You'll notice that these areas that are, these parts of the chart that are highlighted, they've already given you the phenotype. So we're gonna be completing the parts that are empty, that are not highlighted. So the first one we're looking at is the, the female. So we take our penny and we flip it, and we have tails, and then we flip it again, and this time I have heads. Okay, so going back up here, we look here, we have tails, heads, it shows you in this quadrant, um, it's going to be this one right here. So that is going to be the genotype of this female, which is heterozygous, which means she is a carrier. And that also means that we have to draw on this and fill in half of it, because it's a heterozygous carrier. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to Google Drive. You can um, take a screenshot of this, however you do, whatever program you use, and you're going to download it onto your computer. Um, and then you're going to go to your Google Drive, to New, to More. And I'm in the way here, so let me make sure I do this properly. There we go, More, Into Drawings. We're going to insert that screenshot. I have it in my computer, so I'm going to type it up there, Pedi pedigree chart. That's what I open up. Okay, so now you can actually draw in this. And um, I'm going to show you, you can draw it as a scribble. And you might have a tool to do this um, that's better than my tool. Okay, anyhow. You you can play around with this and get better at it. You could even use shapes to do the square ones to fill that in. Once you're done, um, you're gonna. Once you are done, you're going to uh, download it as a PDF, and then you, that's what you're gonna upload in the assignment. Okay. Good luck.